got to breathe. That's a good idea. <laughs> okay. I've had a wonderful life. And everything has seemed to work out for me wonderfully. Now, I'm going to retire. I have retired. And I have so many options. So, really creating my own, like I have. But before, my life has gone where I had things and I've created the wonderful life. Now it's really just me. I need a rampage of everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is going to be as exciting as the past 60 years. It's going to be far better than anything you've ever known before. Because I... <laughs> I really feel that, but it's like I have no restrictions, no schedule, no clock, no anything. And it's just really pure creation. Well, when you were first born, wasn't it like that? Yes, but I can't remember that. But the reason that we're tying that together, what's the difference between when you first come into this physical experience and into that freedom, into that openness, into that unlimitedness? Are you feeling insecure in having so many options? Are you not trusting yourself to know? I'm Do you not trust your path? Do you not understand that your path will unfold? Or are you afraid that you won't recognize it? What's the problem here? In other words... I'm overwhelmed with excitement and I'm... Well, those two words don't go together. Really? You're either overwhelmed or you're excited, but you're not overwhelmed with excitement. Well, I'm overwhelmed with, with all the choices, with all... You're overwhelmed with choices. What, what are you actually saying? I'm confused. I'm worried that I won't make the right choices. Is that what you're saying? Hmm. What's different in your life now than before? In other words, what makes it the difference? There were choices out there that were, you know, you can do this, you can go and be happy here, you can choose this, you can do that. And if you go here, you go along this path. So it's the unlimitedness of yes, it? Yes, It's the buffet is so big, you yes. can't work your way through it? <laughs> yes. But really, when you think about it, that's like saying that, do you need to figure it out all at once, or is it just going to come not. to you? Now, this may be the wrong time to put this out to you, but... Do you have to consider everything that you will ever eat for the rest of your life today? <laughs> no. Or is it just the menu that's before you? In other right. words, we realize that there are different places that you could choose to dine. But that's relatively simple to make those choices. And once you get there, is it so unlimited that it overwhelms you? Or is there always a manageable buffet before you? That's the question that we want to put to you. Isn't there always a manageable buffet before you? There is. So when we talk about never mind how you got to where you are, never mind so much everything that's going to unfold, because you're right, you cannot contemplate all of that. But you can contemplate the choices that are before you, I guess I can. It's just totally new. Just... Well, we don't believe you. We don't believe that it is totally new. We believe that you've been managing it all along. We think that for some reason you've decided to make where you are now more treacherous or more unmanageable. Are you saying that did somebody else figure it all out for you before? In other words... Absolutely not. What have you been doing occupation-wise recently? Teaching. How did that come about? Did you decide about that? Was that something you wanted to do? It was something I wanted to do. I've always wanted to... In what capacity were you teaching? Special ed students. And were you teaching all of them all over the world? <laughs> no. Were you teaching all of them all over this nation? No. So you didn't have access to all of them all at once? No. Did you teach all of them at once? How many of them were in your usual vicinity at a time? Eight to ten. How many of them were you focused upon at any moment in time? Probably one. <laughs> yeah. So there are always choices. There are always choices. There are. And so did some of the choices that you made before 
puts you in a position about the choices that you are making now. In other words, once you decided to teach, did you have to learn about everything? Did you learn about the stock market? Did you learn about computer programming? So once you decided that you were going to teach, then that made it easy for you to choose among that. And then you got really good at that. Once you realized that you were going to do that, you didn't have to teach all the children of the world. In other words, the next logical step just kept showing up for you, didn't it? Okay. And the next logical step never was outside of the vibrational vicinity of where you are. So there will never be more for you to consider than you are vibrationally able to consider, nor even more. Oh, this is even better. Not only will there never be more for you to consider than you are vibrationally able to consider, no more will come to you to be considered than what you are vibration. In other words, that unlimitedness that you are feeling is limited by the trajectory that you've already set into motion. When you decided to come forth into this body, you didn't say, I'm going to go and do all of it all at once. You said, I'm going to focus myself within a time and a space. Oh, don't you just love the fact that in a time you don't have to think about everything all time before and after it's just now. Isn't that interesting how that works out? Mm -hmm. That there is in your unlimitedness still, there is a focused place from which you are launching your next desire. And it's always the next logical step, the next logical step. So why in the world have you trumped up this fictitious perspective of what it's going to be like? That's why we said we don't believe you. We don't think it's about that. We don't think it's about too many choices. We think it's about not having made a choice. Hmm. not having made a decision because in decision energy always flows in a strong way so what kinds of things have you decided have you decided between happiness and sadness happiness have you decided between something interesting and something really boring very interesting have you decided to be productive or unproductive productive. have you decided to enjoy it or to despise it enjoy it do you believe that the universe will deliver it or do you think you have to go searching for it? Deliver it. This is where I'm shaky, I guess. Yeah, that is where it is. But do you have a little more confidence now as we're visiting yes. that you know enough about your path that you will recognize it when you see it? That's what I want to hear. You will recognize it when you see it. Isn't that a glorious state of being that you will know it when you see it? Can you feel that what's going on within you, this feeling that you have, and it's happening with a lot of you, whether you're about to retire or no matter what you're doing, the sensation that I must find my perfect path and I don't know where to look for it is what's mixed up in your vibration right, right. but can you feel that everything that we've been talking about we can say with certainty to you that your path is right, right there, there and that your singular work is to create an environment where you can realize sometimes people say where your path will be revealed to you well your path is always being revealed to you the question is are you realizing the revelation and the answer to that is most people are not realizing the revelation because they're beating some drum of shortage consciousness isn't that an interesting phrasing you've got shortage consciousness in having too many choices there you go there's not enough of me in your unlimitedness you've got shortage consciousness Whew. Not enough of me mm -hmm. to go around. Not enough clarity, not enough certainty, not enough belief in my path. Aren't you pretty sure as you visit with us that you're going to know it when you see it? That's why. Do you I ever am. go into a clothing store with things and do you ever think, I don't know what I want? Don't you know pretty much everything you see, whether it appeals to you right. in one way or another? At this stage of your life experience, don't you know what you want? You just don't yet know that you can have what you want. But the universe is just going to keep showing you the next and the next and the next. Do you want it all at once? No. Do you want it to be incremental? Yes. Do you think it'll be any other way? No. So wasn't that a silly thing to worry about? <laughs> I was afraid that I was going to have to eat all the meals for my rest of my life today. I worried about that until I got on the ship and I realized they're only going to bring me one plate of food at two, three plates, of, five plates of food at a time. <laughs> I was really worried that I was going to have to think all the thoughts for the rest of my life today and I'm just not prepared to do that. Oh, and all those conversations I'm going to have to have, so many conversations. 
you don't have to figure it all out everything is taken care of it's just right here right now and how you're gonna feel about right here right now it feels really good hearing about it right here right now yeah. from you yeah I just feel good about hearing it'll that. be easy for you it's been being easy for you it's not gonna suddenly change for you you are who you are you're a focused being you're good at what you do you've loved life for a long time it's just gonna keep unfolding in remarkable ways it's gonna be more fun than it has ever been you're gonna feel freer than you've ever felt you're not gonna be confused about who you are or what you want to do clarity is gonna be your middle name just relax and enjoy have fun with all of this I will yeah. thank you thank you very much yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Second row. Don't you like living in a time space reality that helps you to focus? Isn't that nice? Don't you like the continuity of all of that? The clarity that comes from all of that? The opportunity? 